Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Not Timmy 66. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Happy Sunday, man. So it's come to my attention that I'm getting a lot of comments about the timeline to get hired for the post office for the CCA position. So what I did is I went in and I did my timeline. Let's go over how long it takes, man, to actually get hired at the post office. How is everybody doing today, man? Welcome back to 1966. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, so I've been getting some comments and questions in regards to the CCA position, or actually just how long it takes to get hired on at the post office, man. And uh, let me tell you guys, I'm here to tell you, it takes a minute. Um, it takes a minute to get hired on. And it's not necessarily, sorry, I got junk everywhere in this room. I try to keep this room clean, but yet it becomes a catch-all for everything. So, apologize for that. <clears throat> anyway, I digress. So easily distracted. It takes a while. And um, they tell you flat out when you get your conditional job offer to not quit your current job. And also there's some caveats in there that you want to keep in mind too because they can actually hire you at the post office before all the background checks are done, man. So you may think you got the job and you may be working and you may get started. And then something comes up. It happens. It does happen, man. It does. So as I get through this, guys, I'm going to just kind of give you the best timeline I know how to. And that way it'll kind of alleviate these questions on how long was I on any kind of a pre-employment list or, um, you know, what was the process like and, and so on and so forth. And keep in mind, man, you guys have been following me that have been on this channel for a while, been following me for a while. You know I've always been working. So this was all going on, like I've said before, in the background, pretty much. Because to be honest with you, I never ever thought it would get this far. I never really thought that I would actually have a chance to work for the post office. And here it is. So... My opinion is, if you're interested in working for the post office or you think you might have a shot at it, go for it, man. Just don't quit your day job, if you know what I'm saying, right? Don't quit your day job until you know for sure that they actually send you a start date and, um, you know, you get through everything because it is quite involved. So, I was uh, keeping my ear to the or my eyes open, I guess, like I always do. And I was looking at Indeed um, back in late April, early May, and I saw that they were hiring for the post office. And I was like, yeah, that'd be a good job if I could get it. But, um, you know, whatever. So I saw these postings, and I saw more than one, man. I saw several different postings. Excuse me, snobby coffee time. Ah, oh, some good coffee, guys. Good coffee. If you don't know about snobby coffee go back in my earliest videos and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about man by the way a little side note my coffee maker started leaking this morning man so i'm gonna have to replace that anyway i digress so i keep seeing job openings for the post office here in my neck of the woods and i'm like hmm I wonder what it takes to actually get a, you know, and I'm, I'm not afraid of much, so I was like, you know, I wonder what it's going to take to actually get um, hired on at the post office or what that process is like. So I went ahead and I threw my application in, man. It was really easy. I did it on Indeed. I used the Indeed application. Um, just, it's kind of like an easy apply thing, one click send. And, and then it took me to the United States Postal site. And there's a link there. So I went ahead, applied on the site, and keep in mind, this is like in the last week of April, first couple weeks of May. I don't have an exact time frame for you, but just to give you a reference as to when this whole process got started, right? And I have notes here, so if you see me looking over here, that's why, because I want to make sure I get it right, man. Get it right! So, um, 
I put that in and the month of May goes by or the end of April, month of May goes by, life goes on, right? We're working, we're doing whatever. And on July 6th, I get a notification from the post office and I was acknowledged as an actual candidate. And on that same day, they sent me a link to take an exam, an assessment exam. Now, I think I did it the same day. So in my notes here, I have that I took the assessment on the exact same day, which was the 6th of July. And when you take that exam, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. It's not really that long, but set aside a little bit of time. And the exam itself, if you have specific questions on it, I'll just tell you most of it's common sense. It's not real difficult um, information to process. You don't have to be like a math wizard. God, thank God, because I wouldn't have passed the test um, or anything like that. You just have to be able to answer some common common sense questions right there's a little bit of preamble beforehand they go into a little bit of the history of the post office and stuff like that but I mean it's not like you have to study up for it or anything like that so in, um, when you get done with it it calculates your results at least it did for me right away and I got a 97% so I'm like well that's cool so those results were automatically sent off to the post office you hear that? Crickets. I don't hear anything either. And I didn't hear anything. Man, I didn't hear anything for a little while. Until the 22nd of July. And they sent me a conditional job offer. And that's what I'm talking about. So, from April to early May is when I applied. On the 6th of July, a month later, I get the invitation to take the assessment. And then, um, basically acknowledging that I'm a candidate, but they need me to take the test, right? So I take the test, and that all happens on the 6th of July. I don't hear any second, anything at all until the 22nd of July, where I get my conditional job offer. And um, some people have had questions in regards to that. I guess that puts me on a pre-employment list. I'm not sure... They didn't word it that way, so I don't want to word it that way. But anyway, so it was the 22nd of July, right? <sighs> whole time I'm working, right? And the whole time I'm thinking, whatever, something's going to throw a wrench into the works and I won't be getting it for some reason, right? So that all happened on the 22nd of July where I got the conditional job offer and... Uh, two days later on the 24th and I'm going by my email man so I know that I got my dates right on the 24th of July I got the NACI background check and that was started um, that's a motor vehicle report that also goes back and checks your job history uh, it also checks your I guess your um, location history like where you've lived they're real big also on that on finding out if you've ever done anything under a different name than what you've listed. And if you have, you need to make sure that you let them know. I, I don't, you know, not a hundred percent as to what their processes are, whatever. So I kind of forget about it, right? Crickets again. So this is the 24th of July. And, uh, I come home from work one day and I'm just, Randomly checking my email and boom, there's an email on the 25th of August from a gentleman at the post office saying, hey, congratulations on this. If you're still interested in the position, guess what? You have like till yesterday to get your fingerprints done or the job offer will be rescinded or in other words, we'll just assume that you're not interested in the job any longer. And it gave a list They were, they attached a list of different locations you could go to, to get your fingerprints done. And I, and I had just gotten on, done with work that day and this is on the 25th. And so I hurry up and I just hop in the car. Luckily the testing site's real, real close, man. It's like, I don't know, four or five miles away from my house. Not bad at all. So I'm going, hmm, I better get down there and get this done. Because this is starting to get serious now, right? And this is on the 25th of August. And um, so on the 25th of August, I go down to the post office and I put my little mask on. 
and I go into the post office and I'm like, hi, I don't know who I need to talk to, but I'm here to do a uh, fingerprint. And they're like, oh, follow that red arrow down there, go through that door, blah, 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 blah. Followed the directions, went down to this little office inside the post office and there's this lady sitting at the desk working in there and she's like, may I help you? I said, yes, hi, I got a notification that I'm supposed to be in here for a fingerprint test. She goes, <sighs> so I'm like, okay, there's that postal service attitude right there. Anyway, she rolls out the cart with the thing and it's all done electronically. You don't have to like dip your fingers in ink or anything and they you fill out something and they make sure that your information on there is correct, like your email, where you live, your phone number, your contact information. And then it's just this box scanner thing, man. You just stick your fingers in left and right and it scans it and that's it. You're done. I was in and out of there in like three minutes. So I get that taken care of and, um, I don't send any notification back to anybody or anything like that. They just said, well, thanks for coming in. Thanks for doing your fingerprints. I'm like, okay. I'm like, how far is this going to go? This time I'm now at this point, I'm starting to go, hmm. And keep in mind too, there was a job with the FDA that was coming available that I was applying for as well. It was a delivery position here locally. Uh, would have been a four-year contract and they would have paid for mileage and stuff like that. So I had that in the works too and I'm going, well, which one's going to come through here? And um, nothing new, man. And then the very day that the company was going to offer me the FDA position on the September, uh, the, well, it wasn't the 11th. I have appointment notification. Oh, <sighs> anyway, on the very day, and I'm not sure, I apologize guys. It was a few days ago. So like what the 6th, the 5th of September, whatever, I get a notification that everything's been received and that they're going to go ahead and move forward with me, man. So I got the official notification for the appointment that I showed you guys in the video and I'll pretty, I'll put it back up here on the screen somewhere around here. Um, email that, um, I'm hired and that I will be getting another notification shortly. Let me back up. So last Monday, I get a call, an actual call from the post office. That's what it was, guys. Sorry for the confusion. I get a call from the post office. And they asked me a few questions. Are you afraid of dogs? What would you do if a dog attacked you? You know, run like hell or what would you do? Um, and a few other questions. Do you understand that you're going to be, you know, there's no set schedule and that there's overtime involved and blah, 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 blah. Well, this, by this time I'd researched the position. I kind of understood that I'm going to be working my ass off, man. So I said, yes, I understand all that. And she said, great. She said, well, everything came back and uh, you're going to be getting a notification for orientation to go ahead and get started. Welcome to the post office. Then I get a call two hours later or an hour and a half later from another gentleman that said, I'm just following up with you to make sure that you want to accept the position with the post office. Yes, I do. I already spoke with somebody. I said, <clears throat> excuse me. And they said, okay, great. You're going to get an, uh, an email. And then on uh, the 11th of September, um, that's when I got that email that I'll show you guys somewhere around here. I'll, I'll post it up again. Um, showing congratulations and that you're going to be assigned to this post office and that you're going to get further information in regards to orientation by the 15th of September. And the way it reads to me is that's like my official start date for the post office. I don't get paid yet. I know I get paid for orientation. So yeah, man, that's it. That's how it goes. It takes a while. So we're looking at the end of April, early part of May till the 11th of September. So in my situation, in my state, in my region, whatever, that's how long it took. So I just thought I'd let you guys know what the time frame's like, man. If you are interested in applying for the post office, I know they're hiring, man. I know they're hiring. They've got CCA positions, which is city carrier assistant, and they got RCA, which is rural carrier assistant jobs out there. 
but if you are interested, just don't quit your day job, man, and uh, go through the process because uh, apparently it's worth it. It's worth it. This is a career position with great benefits. <clears throat> you get the great starting wage and you get time and a half after eight hours every day. And anything over 10 hours a day is double time. You get all the federal holidays and all the good perks that come with it. So it's worth it. I want to give you guys a timeline, let you guys know what's up with that. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I've rambled on for quite some time, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and get this posted for you all so you can see it. If you have any further questions, anything I missed, which I'm sure I did, just let me know. Thank you guys very much. If those of you that have subscribed to the channel, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's free. It costs nothing. And it's a lot of fun. Plus, I'll be taking you guys along for the ride through orientation, through training, and moving forward with the post office. You all take care. You have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Um, this is not to me 66 saying, as always, no matter what you guys do in life, Make it count. Not to me, 66 is out, guys. Have a great day.